It's all but the bottom two and a half stories. Where's the rest of the building? It makes a 0 0.6 on the Richter scale. That's like a, a jackhammer. It should have sounded like it was raining dump trucks. You know, big dump trucks go down the road, they, they wake you up at night because they vibrate the ground. So, we've talked about these three things. Now we're going to talk about dustification and lather. You'll notice I use a unique language. If you don't know what the phenomenon is, and you use the name of a known phenomenon, that's wrong. You're misleading the direction the information is going in. You're, you're calling something uh, like fire when it's not fire. It, that's why I use the word fumes, because if you use smoke, you're assuming the cause to be fire. If you don't know what the phenomenon is, better not use a name of a known phenomenon. Well, what happened to these buildings? That's a phenomenon we've never seen before. It needs a new name. I call it dustification. The buildings turn to dust. It's not a difficult word to, re to remember either. And often I use names of food, you know, like, like uh, Cheetos or something like that. You're not going to confuse this with food. It's better than using characteristic 493-7A. You're not going to remember that. But we're going to talk about dustification. As we talked about before, this is turning to dust as it falls. People often see these, these uh, squirts ahead of the collapse wave. But what was that? If it's bombs, you'd see a flash and you'd see a whole lot more of them. But if you have the whole building turning to dust as it comes apart, what about the water tanks that are distributed throughout the building? They're going to get weaker and weaker as they're dissolving until they suddenly give way. And I'm tempted to believe that that, that might indeed be what that is. We don't know. But if you've got that whole building down on the ground in like eight seconds, well, let's say nine and a half seconds just to give it some extra, it would have to be squirting out here at the base at a minimum of Mach 1.5. The air from the middle to get to the outside is like Mach 2.5. For sure, all of the adjacent buildings should look like they were machine gun fired. That's a lot to stuff to squirt out of the way. And that's assuming the building took, you know, nine and a half seconds to come to ground. So you just have those couple little puffs. Something's not right there, too. Now, people who say, okay, we heard, they, they claim they heard explosions. And so therefore, it must be bombs in the building. They're starting with assuming what did it, and then going back to assuming what problem they're solving, instead of determining first what happened. Well, if you recall, um, blessing zone ahead, you know, turn off cell phones and two-way radios just in case it triggers something. How are you going to get everyone to unknowingly turn off all their cell phones in southern Manhattan for weeks ahead while they prepare the site? But there were sounds of explosions. Bombs go boom, but not everything that goes boom is a bomb. Think of putting an egg in your microwave oven. Turns out there's a lot of folks who talked about these Scott packs exploding at ground level, sitting on the fire trucks. There's a lot of testimony here, we don't need to go over it, but there's various firefighters who talked about hearing these Scott tanks exploding. Now this is slow motion of Tower 1 coming apart. And you notice this, uh, there'll be some uh, column that starts falling down this, this corner. I think it's in here. And we're going to follow it down and watch how it just turns to dust completely. And as well as these other, other things. Here it is. Okay, it's got the dust trailing behind it. This is a solid piece. It's like ice cream melting, it's going away. And if you focus on various other parts, you'll see the same thing. 
There's no sound with this. This is a high-speed version. You can see that piece again. And these big chunks over here. You see it's turning to dust as it comes down. <laughs> 